All right, in this section, we're going to take a look at finding the slope of a line and then using that slope of a line to, to tell a couple of the characteristics of the line. So what we'll start off with is just for a quick review of finding the slope. Um, so what I would do is kind of watch the first example, hit pause, copy it down, and then go ahead and, and try to find the slope of the second one and, you know, without the video running, and then come back and watch and see how you did. All right, so here we go. Uh, find the slope. Slope is known as rise over run, which is a change in your y's over the change in your x's. So that means that we're going to take the y, the second y, and the first y and subtract them. Then we'll take the second x and the first x and we'll subtract them. So what that means, to, what we really need to do is we need to identify which one's our first one and which one's our second one. It really doesn't matter which one's which. So if I call this one x2 and this one y2, then out of consequence, I would call that one x1 and this one y1. And so, but like I said, we could switch that around. We could come through here and we could say, okay, no, you know what? I want this one to be the first one because it comes first. And I want this one to be the first y. And then this would be the second one. And this would be the second y. And, and like I said, it doesn't matter. As long as you're consistent in putting your x1, your x2 together, and your y, your, I'm sorry, your x1 and your y1 together, and your x2 and your y2 together. So now our formula is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we take our numbers and we plug them in. So that's negative 6 minus 4 over 2 minus negative 2. Pull out your calculator, whatever you need to do. Make sure you don't make mistakes. That would give you negative 10 over 4, which would simplify to a negative 5 over 2. We come to the second one, we find the slope of that guy, and so what would happen to us is that we call this one x1, y1, x2, y2. So our formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So y2 would be 8, y1 would be 8, x2 would be 5 minus y x1, which is negative 3. So on top, we would get 0. On the bottom, we would get positive 8. That means the slope of this line is equal to 0. Excuse me, I don't need that equal sign. So we're going to review this shortly in our second video, but that means that this would be the equation of a horizontal line. Okay, so very important little fact right there. A, a, a line with a slope of 0 is a horizontal line. The last one, same thing, slope is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I know you're like, well, why do you keep writing that formula? Well, remember, you're going to take a test over this, and on that test, you're going to need to have this formula memorized. So if every time you work one of these problems, you even though if you're copying the formula off of your notes onto your scratch work, you're memorizing it when you're copying it and writing it and saying it out loud to yourself, so please get in that habit. So same thing, we'll call this one x1, this one y1, this one x2, and this one y2. So that would be 10 minus negative 10 over negative 4 minus negative 4. On top, that would give me 20, and on the bottom, that would give me 0. So the slope of this line would be what we would call undefined. Let me clean that up and rewrite that. Undefined. And the reason is, is if you plug that in your calculator, your calculator is going to give you an error message. So make sure that you, you know, test that out. Make sure that makes sense. So this means that we have a vertical line. So we have horizontal line when the slope is equal to zero. We have a vertical line when our slope is undefined. All right, so that's a quick little review of slope. And we'll move on to the next video.